welcome to another vlog. I hate wearing my glasses because you guys can see the ring light on here. But anyways, hello! Hi! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tally. Happy first day of a new month. I can't believe January is over. I'm, I'm so excited because it's a new month, new TBRs, new books that I'm going to read and you guys are probably going to read. I am going to... Um, plan my TVR today and I'm gonna write some book reviews. I'm also working. I just had a meeting at one o'clock and I'm just I'm done with my first job. Um, I don't ha I don't work until four o'clock for my other job. I have been working on my journal and just doing book reviews on my journals and I am I like how they came out so I'm very excited. My plans for today I need to take an Instagram picture for bookstagram um, with all the books that I read for the month and then I have to plan my TBR. I have to I just finished my my work paperwork So I'm shit. No, I have to upload something. I have to do that right now I have to look up some videos for black history month for our class I have to do that really fast and then I'm gonna get started with my TBR for the month and journal um, I hope you guys enjoy this video wherever it goes wherever it takes us and I hope you enjoy and I hope you watch all the way into the end So I just finished work. It's been a long day. It is already 6 o'clock p.m. But I just finished my last session. I finished for the day. Now I'm gonna go get some lunch. I was gonna make some noodles, but I'm just gonna go get Chick-fil-A um, because I've been craving Chick-fil-A for a very long time. And legislative votes that we had in this new Congress. Um, but basically what the rules does is that it sets down the rules that we all must abide by for the 117th Congress that we're now in. So it's a vote. Now, what happened was that this is normally a procedural vote. It's supposed to be like a pretty normally scheduled, but what <laughs> happened was that Republicans objected to the fact that the rules were... everyone today is Tuesday and I was feeling kind of sick this morning but um, I feel so much better now I took some medicine and I'm gonna make myself some matcha instead of coffee 
Um, I haven't had a coffee, so I'm just going to make myself a little bit of matcha. I have to work at 4 o'clock p.m. It's currently 3.30. And to today's plans, I'm going to do my dotted journal for the month of February. There's uh, several books that I plan on reading and for Black History Month. So happy Black History Month. I'm so excited. Yesterday was just planning and finishing up some book reviews for the month of January. now 9 o'clock p.m. I haven't done anything today so doing some things for the book club that I organized with Cynthia. I'm just gonna continue editing hopefully I'm done with that by today and then I'm gonna do some unboxings for my stationary things that I got. I don't want to upload three times a week now hopefully but I don't see that happening because I have so much work <laughs> Thursday afternoon. It is currently 4.54 p.m. This morning I didn't do a lot of things and I haven't been doing a lot of things this week. Um, yesterday night was the first time that I picked up a book this week. So um, I'm just taking a little break with reading. This January I read a lot of books. I began to read Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas and I think this is going to be the perfect book for me to get out of my reading slump just because it's already very intriguing. I am on page 20 and last night I only read like 
two pages and this morning I sat down with my cup of coffee and I just started reading and I ended up on page 20 but hopefully I can do some progress tonight on for today I'm gonna be reading of course Concrete Rose in the end of the story we are introduced to our protagonist it is written in first person point of view so we have Maverick and we're introduced to so many characters but it's very easy to keep up with them just because the way that Andrew Thomas writes it's very easy to keep up with the characters and um, understand who's related to who. So Maverick is part of a gang and his leaders are Sean and Dre. And Dre is his older cousin and his father has been in prison for nine years and the gang that he's in is called King Lords. So his father is in prison and before he got locked up, um, he told Maverick's mother that he's supposed to join the gang for protection. But what his mother doesn't know is that he is dealing um, weed, that he's selling weed. Andy Thomas just threw so many things at me, which I like, you know. Um, I like how a story starts out with, like, with problems right away and it just makes you think, like, what's gonna happen next? It's definitely intriguing. I'm already very interested in the characters. Another thing about this story is that a Maverick might be the father of a baby of his friend's girlfriend. So right now he's in the hospital, he's in the clinic where they're gonna find out if he's the daddy or not. So that's something that I'm looking forward to find out. And then another thing is that he is part of this gang and one of the rules when one of the rules of this gang is that he is not allowed to um, sell other things but weed. And so his friend, he got another supplier. So they are selling other drugs on the low. Their leaders of the King Lords don't know anything about them um, having their own supplier and selling their own drugs. This is the only way that they can get money. Maverick's mother, he, she works two jobs. She feels that it's easier for him to instead of just selling weed he can sell these other drugs so he can get extra money he also has a girlfriend named lisa so i'm just interested in what his girlfriend's gonna do when if he is the daddy of this baby from this other girl i'm gonna keep reading a little bit later right now i'm gonna open up my stationary things yeah so i will update you guys as soon as i do more readings i'm going to the grocery store i got some mango chunks i got some tea this is my favorite tea and I also got some almonds, some sliced almonds, and some red raspberries. finished our zoom meeting having some coffee and i am about to go make my shake i am thinking of making a spinach and mango smoothie if you made it this far you probably do know that i started reading concrete rose by andrew thomas and jesus christ this is fucking good this is amazing it's like just so many things going on and i just i'm just here for it I'm loving all the characters. The main character, Maverick, he is such an amazing character and Angie Thomas knows exactly how to um, bring these characters to life and the whole story to life. Please hype this book up. This is good. I don't care what you say. This is freaking good. If you didn't like it, what is wrong with you? <laughs> and um, just a gorgeous cover, look. It's red with our main character on the front. So we have some spinach here.
update you guys really fast with my reading you guys i am loving concrete rose so so much i think that this is gonna be my favorite book of the year i love it i love it so much it's so good you guys have to pick it up and i definitely think that this book needs to be more hyped now i am on page 117 really liking the main character maybrick i don't know when was the last time i updated you guys with this book i think i introduce the characters to you guys and everything. I am about to enter a very emotional sp spot, um, but I wanted to stop reading it because I wanted to get my reaction because I already know that I'm gonna cry. I stopped reading it and also because I wasn't emotionally ready for that part of the one that I was about to read. It is very fast-paced. I really like how the story is developing and I really love the characters in the story. I haven't found anything wrong with this book. I mentioned that Maverick was going to take that test to see if he's the father of this baby. And of course that's not a spoiler because it's mentioned on the synopsis and he 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 is the father of the baby. About manhood and fatherhood. He has like a huge responsibility. So he went from dealing drugs to having to take care of a baby and then we have his cousin who is the leader of the gang but he seems to really care for Maverick and that's what I like about it he's like very caring and he wants him to stop dealing he's working and he's going to school at the same time seven is his little baby and it's just so cute how he cares so much for him and how caring he is for his baby and for his mom and for other friends of his and it's just so so good. He finds out that he's the father of this baby. Um, his name, the baby, is named King after his friend's name because they thought that his friend was the father of the baby. But it turns out that he is the father. He wants to change his name, and he named him Seven after the theory of Tupac. And if you don't know Tupac, he is the rapper um, who was murdered in Las Vegas the year 1996. Name Seven, it represents perfection. And that's one of the reasons why he named the baby Seven, because of the theory of Tupac. Um, because a lot of people thought that he was still alive. And this book takes place in the year 1998, two years after Tupac's death. So um, I think that was pretty cool. Wait, <laughs> So it is way, way back in the 90s and after Tupac's death, people thought that he was still alive and that there was a theory to his death. Um, Rick mentions that Tupac will probably be back the year 2003. Now keep in mind, this book takes place in the year 1998, two years after Tupac's death. So they have this th theory that Tupac was going to be back in the year 2003 because he faked his death. The number seven has like some connections to his death. The year 2003, it would be seven years after he faked his death. So I guess Tupac has all these connections to the number seven, so that's why he named the baby Tupac. I mean, <laughs> he named the baby Tupac. No, he didn't. He named the baby seven. So I think that was pretty cool. And I am just so excited to keep reading. I am hoping to finish it tonight. Oh, I will update you guys a little bit later. Right now I'm gonna put on a mask and I'm gonna continue reading Concrete Rose. <laughs> So it is now 6 o'clock p.m. It's Saturday night and I just finished eating some pokey. It was delicious. I have been reading Concrete Rose. I am currently on page 259 and I'm on chapter 21. Thomas just keeps surprising me because it's just very intriguing 
and I just finished up the chapter that surprised me and shocked me. It feels so good and it's developing super well. So I was doing a little bit of research and I actually haven't read The Hate You Give and I guess he's a character from that book so I definitely have to pick it up after this one. Um, but I did read that you don't necessarily need to read um, The Hate of You Give before reading this book. It's the same setting where The Hate You Give took place it's just 17 years before or the events of The Hate of the hate you give it does where he says teachers would ask what I wanted to be when I grew up. I'd say stuff like an astronaut or a doctor or a vet, but at some point I stopped imagining myself being any of that. Ain't no ain't no astronauts, doctors, or vet veterinarians around here. Everybody I know just trying to survive and that's all I want to do. That's deep. <laughs> just finished Concrete Rose and it became my favorite book of the year. It's just so so good. I loved it so much. This is my first time reading Angie Thomas and she is a great storyteller. The way that Angie Thomas wrote this book it just pulled me right in and it made me really care about the characters because it felt like they were real life characters and the plot, the pacing, the characters, the storytelling, everything was just great and it's something that I look for in a book. So happy that I picked this up. It made me understand more this perspective of a black boy who is just trying to trying to figure out how to be a man and a father. He was just a very caring and a very charismatic character which I really liked and I'm really hoping that they make a movie of this book and I recommend you guys picking it up. That concludes my weekly reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye!